What's up, Dallas? Oh my God. It's like my first time out here um, to do reviews, because when I was in Dallas before, we didn't think about doing reviews, and now we're doing them. So, guess where I am? Stop number one. Uh, you may know this superstar. Uh, she is lighting up the scene. Her name is Tiffany Derry. She's a buddy of mine, and one day I'll tell you the story of how she cooked my fish and I won the chop challenge. So really I should be going here paying her for helping me win. But neither here nor there, of course, Root Southern Table comes up on every list you could think of uh, when it comes to the good food that's out here in Dallas. So you know I had to come over here and try them out, man. Well, come back and do the review. I've had it before, but they've got some new stuff happening. So let's go check out Root's Southern Table. Come on, y'all. All right, folks, we're here at Root Southern Table. We haven't been here in so long, but it's good to be back in the uh, land of the living here. Okay, this is Wine List Cocktails. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? Okay, it says welcome home. It's so great. Oh, they got Kool-Aid. That's it, stop right there. Do you remember Hey Kool-Aid with rum, peach tea, mango, lime? You will be calling for this cocktail. We can stop right there. I don't need nothing else. I can tell you what else they got, though. She got an Uncle Nearest Old Fashioned, something called a Perfect Pear. Oh, with pear-infused vodka with spiced ginger. Wait a minute now. I like a... Pear's one of my favorite fruits. She has a Con Amigos, which is tequila with Friends Reposado, vermouth, Lime, agave, whatnot, purple rain, the prince of our cocktails. Don't you love a play? Um, then there's a couple other things. It's 5 p.m. here. Southern Charm. Yeah, I think there's like um, two more people coming. But it's, this is probably going to be, you're a server? Yes. What's your name? Sean. Sean. So I'm basically here to do a review for the camera. Yeah, I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff. I just text Tiffany, let her know I was here, but apparently she's busy. Um, so I'm gonna order a bunch of stuff for the table and just ask for like some side plates and whatever. Sure. Okay? Absolutely. Perfect, thank you. You get your mask look things over? Yes, yeah. appreciate it, yep. Okay, they got some more drinks and stuff. Okay, yeah, I did micro dose. Did I tell y'all that? I don't know if I told you that, but I did. So. Southern Charm, Smooth Operation, Urban Smoke, Two-Step, deal with it, okay? Okay, Down Home Roots, Cast Iron Cornbread, yes. Jamaican Salt Cod Fritters, yes. Southern Greens, yes. My Mama's Gumbo, yes. Modern Roots, Texas Peach Salad. I wonder if it's as good as that salad we had last, last week, two weeks ago. Devil Eggs, no, Fried Green Tomatoes. They have Lump Crab, Rava Gote, whatever the hell that is, and ra Radish Relish. Fancy. Duck Fat Fried Chicken, we gotta get some of that. Supper, they got King Salmon with Texas Sweet Corn, Corn Milk, Basil and Asparagus, Texas Red Fish, Texas Striped Bass, Charred Red Cabbage Steak, Slow Braised Pork Cheeks with Soy Allspice Burnt Sugar, Marble Potatoes, Chili, and a Scallion Pancake. Hello, goodbye. Moroccan lamb pasta and a 44 Farms New York strip and sides of crawfish fried rice, Texas uh, fried yams with garlic butter, and Texas cream sweet corn. We came to the right place. We'll place an order. Gotta know what you're doing. All right, I didn't tell y'all, I just ordered the, um, the Kool-Aid drink, okay? All right, now, and I'm still microdose. Thank you very much. I don't know what's about to happen, okay? But, oh, here it comes. This is the Kool-Aid. Thank you. He made it so fast. I want, is it real Kool-Aid in here? Let me show you, look at this. Okay, look at that. It's good. It don't taste like Kool-Aid though. 
It tastes like a good drink. It tastes like Kool-Aid. It's good. Don't get me wrong. Shit's amazing. But don't think Kool-Aid. I want you to think tropical peach on a beach somewhere. You know, saloon. You got your, your knotless braids in. You done went to Ross and got you a little two-piece situation. You down there on the beach. They get you one of these. But a premium hotel. Not the Ryu, nothing like that. You know, something like um the, the moon at Grand or something like that. You know, it's gotta be one of them real nice, good, good, good places. You know, off the, when you go out in the beach on the water and stuff, and the water be blue and you gotta get a boat to get to your room and all that, that's what you get one of these, all right? It's delicious. I'm about to be fucked up. But hey, worst things could happen, okay? All right, um, let's place an order. Always, um, oh, and, and, you and you know who else is, um, Derek Lane is coming, he said. That's the guy from Black Doctors. That one right here. Yeah, he's coming. Um, I'm just gonna order a bunch of stuff for the table. Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. Right he, he said, um, he coming, but they got a bunch of stuff I want. They got the fried chicken, you gotta get that. The cornbread, gotta get that. You gotta get all this. The gumbo wasn't good last time, though. It was just okay. We should get it again and try. It was just all right last time. Um, yeah, he coming. Okay. Double, he just said. I sent him the list, and I sent you the list. And I said, get in where you fit in. Hey, I want to do that barbecue place tomorrow, too. They said that can lounge. Mm. I hear a lot about that. Yeah, but this you got to get there. 11 o'clock, right? Yeah, it's 11 o'clock. Because yeah, I, I, I want to I wanna get there when they open. Yeah. The problem is... Uh, I want to get there when they open because they sell out. And let me see what time they open. What time I'm going to get there? Yeah, they open up at 11 o'clock. Uh-oh, 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 no. Huh. Tell me when. I'll tell you when. When? Okay. Now, now you got to taste it. See how, tell me how it tastes. Smoke old fashioned up in here. But you a lush, so you like shit like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Tiffany! Good. Hold on. I'm, I'm reviewing your restaurant. Oh, my God. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How you, are did, you? You, you didn't know I was coming. Uh, no, how would I know? You didn't know. I wasn't going to tell you. I'm here. And, Hi. oh, I'm sorry. And I have I have reservations tomorrow for your other restaurant. Good. So, you go. Oh, I'm sure you're a superstar. You're a superstar. You're everywhere. How does it feel? Tired. No, it's all good. No, like, honestly, I say I get the opportunity to do what I love. And I, what I do. But you're everywhere now. Everything that I want to do. You're everywhere. Everything I want to do, I do. What I don't want to do, I don't do. Really? Yes. Are you still having fun? Yes. Okay. Every day. Okay. Every day. It's tired. I know it's got to be. I love it. I um, just signed my franchise Congrats. So, I'm Congrats. Okay. Congrats. I'm, so I'm out of here. I'm going to Bali. Yeah. I saw your stuff. Well, it's, it's congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, December 30th, I leave. Uh, we're probably 40% done with the build wow. from the ground up. Wow. Two stories. No, it's amazing. No, it's, it's outstanding. And it's cheap. It's cheap. You going to live here? First class, 6500 on EVA Airlines. Well, EVA is Taiwan's number two airline. When I first was doing it, I was doing Delta, 21000 Don't do that. Yeah, I, uh, I, it's stupid. Stupid. I it didn't, ain't even worth it. It's not. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know any better. It's stupid. EVA, same quality, same everything, and like 6500 okay. So you can easily, not a big deal, like getting by the Congratulations. Yeah, so no, no nothing. You just literally open the door. Oh, and I have an Indonesian business partner. I gave him 10% of the business. Okay. He's like, he's a chef, uh, chef consultant. He runs a cooking class. But we're opening, so it's called Hip Hop Soul. Three Hip Hop Souls. We're opening three Bali Best Cooking Schools. And we're opening three Hip Hop Pits. And we have a pool in the restaurant. It's Bali. It's Bali. Did you just, it's oh, Bali. Are we, are we over here? It's no. Uh, oh, are we over here? Yeah, no. It's it's Bali. It's Bali. So you gotta have a. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just the. 
thing to do. So we got the pool outside with the bar outside. We got the bar inside. It's a thing. It's Bali. And if you're going to do it, you got to do it. When you, when you think about it and you say, you know what? I need a break. When you say, I need to get away, you just call me. You text me. I got a place for you to stay. You just book the flight to Bali. Come on out. Have a good time. I'll take, I'll take very good care of you. Thank you. It's good to be here. Lord knows it's good to be here. And I'm ready to eat, okay? I micro, I micro dose, okay? I micro dose, so, and I have my Kool-Aid. Oh my God! Oh Lord, you like this one? I love it. And I'm getting the peach situation, or the pear thing next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so I'm ready, we are ready. So it's gonna be, I got one more friend coming. Derek, but we're gonna order up a bunch of shit. Thank you, Chef. All right, that's Tiffany, y'all. She's amazing. She really is. I don't know about that camera angle, but you get what you get. She's dope as shit, right? She's dope as shit. Good people. All right, let's uh, place an order. That's what I'm saying. I ain't got time to hang out. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got a whole list of restaurants to get to. I got a whole list, and I'm getting to all of them. And I'm doing my, I got school. Um, and I got school, school work, so it's like I'm in between doing school work and doing my regular work. And I, you know, I edit all my own videos. So, you work. I got to, man, I'm out of here. I gotta get this done, and I gotta get these, I wanna get these reviews done before I go to Bali. So, every city is at least 10 restaurants. So I got five cities in the in the pipeline, five times, that's 50 restaurants. If I can do two more cities, that'll be 70, and I'm trying to do all that before I start my holiday sales. Because I got to cook live for all my holiday sales. I need to make about, if I can get like 1.2 million before December, I'm good. I'm busy, man. I ain't got time. <laughs> Used to be water park shit. I ain't got time for no fucking that's water park. My community. That's that's down the street from my house. I probably want to go to the carnival. Who the hell? I ain't got time to go to no goddamn carnival, man. I'm busy. Oh, let me see. So I'm going to. I sent you the list, right? Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow's the uh, pecan joint. Yeah, pecan lodge. I'm gonna try to get to about ten, so I can, if it's a line, cause you know that shit. And I'm and I'm going the middle of the week too. All that weekend shit. I don't like doing that. Fridays and Saturdays and shit. Well, I don't know. They said it's always the line. I know. That's why I want to get there. I'm gonna get there like ten. I got a class on TV tomorrow. I didn't even know who you were, man. What's going on? What's going on? How are you? I'm good. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, Aaron, have... Aaron, Derek. Yeah. You've been going back and forth to Chicago. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm tired of it, too. <laughs> I didn't even, want you. They want you. I didn't even recognize you. You don't recognize me. Well, I'm a different. You lost so much weight. Keep talking. I know. That's what he said. 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 But this is gonna be your look. This is gonna be. This is, gonna be your is it? Yeah. This is gonna be your look. Are you? I don't know. But look at this drink menu. Okay. No, no, no. Come on. Let's put it in. Uh, Charles. Tell me your name. Sean. The cast iron cornbread. The codfish fritters. The southern greens. The peach salad. Uh, the duck fat fried chicken. I gotta try the slow braised pork cheeks. And uh, definitely the fried yams. On the crawfish fried rice, can you remove the egg? Is that possible? There's no egg in it? Perfect. Let's do that. And then maybe the Texas striped bass. Yeah. So we'll put it all in the middle. Just give us some side plates and serving utensils. Whenever it's ready. Whenever it's ready. Saying you on the apps at first, clear it Whatever you do. It doesn't even, yeah, whenever it's ready, it doesn't matter. Sounds good. And then his drink order. purple Oh, and you know what? You can put the, the pear, that pear thing in for me. The perfect pear? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. I think I have. Love it. It's not my first time having it, but it's good. 
Well, it's a new recipe. That's a summer recipe. Ah, ah, okay. Yeah, no, it's good. It's your recipe. How is it? So it's amazing. It's the best I've ever had in my life, Sean. I've never had anything better. Just had to check. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So how's it going out here? I think it's working. I still work for the captain. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm working for the captain. Is that you do the classes on the weekends or what? I do, uh, I, I teach a lifetime. Okay. I do that for free gym membership. Right? Yeah, he got money. He do all the classes. He teaches. He going, he got stuff happening in Chicago. He like in Chicago hosting classes. Shit, I'm, I'm, I'm getting by right now. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm trying to be like him when I grow up. I'm trying to get by. So who you come with? Myself. That's it. I don't need nobody else to come. Who else I got to come with? I don't know. I thought maybe you had, you had a, uh, Photographer, I used to. Oh. He got in trouble, so I fired him. Why are you always fired? He got in trouble. How he get in trouble? He okay, so you know a girl, pussy. Oh really? He called, got, he called the post. Up. Some rooms. No, I think what happened was if I didn't put two and two together. I also I also microdose too, FYI. So I'm I'm a little lifted, so. If my speech seems it, it's not taking the full dose. Yeah. It's micro dose. Micro, small dose, yeah. what you know what I mean? Yeah, edibles. Y'all take 15 milligrams. So you get a slight buzz, not like a real. That's never worked for me. No, it works. No. I mean, that's what I tried. What are you, Irish now? Yeah, I think I tried the gummies, the brownies. You gotta get the right kind, man. They said, everybody says that. <laughs> and then I go to they guy. Mm. You don't go to a guy. I don't go to. I don't go to a person. I go to the company. Then people gonna fuck you up. You don't know what's in that shit. You gotta go to the company. So I go to the actual dispensary. So you know how many milligrams per gummy you dealing with. You gotta know if it's indica, sativa, or a hybrid. You gotta know this shit. Don't worry. I'm here. Well, yeah. Let me get one to go. Let me get one to go. I don't have any on me. I don't have any on me. I tried. I thought I was about to die. I was like, I went to like a damn smoke shop and got one. So I, I, I take. I was about to fucking die. I do like 40 milligrams a night. For, like 40 between 40 and 60 a night to go to sleep. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh, this is the perfect pair. Yeah, what you got? Really you got perfect rain. purple rain. All right, this is Derek, y'all. We're gonna let Derek taste his purple rain. And we do scale of one. What's on the glass? Too dainty? Okay. Yeah. We, <laughs> what are they using now? Demure? Yeah, Demure, whatever. Who knows? Scale of one to five. That's a 4.5. 4.5. Okay, 4.5. And FYI, he's married with kids, all right? This is. FYI, I know what you're thinking with your hot self. Who is that? Who is that? Yes, I have straight friends, okay? <laughs> Married with kids. Nothing you can do with that. You got veneers, right? Yeah. He got veneers. Yes, sir. I got them for free, actually. Yeah, I sent, I got the original ones were, uh, oh, wow. Come on, already? What we got? What's this? This is the peach salad. We have our peach salad and our cast iron cornbread. Topped off with steamed syrup, homemade strawberry preserves, and smoked salted butter. What's your name? I'm Shanice. I'm the The restaurant leader. <laughs> okay, leader. <laughs> peach salad, sweetheart. Also with a steamed vinaigrette. We have that prosciutto on top. Goat cheese, a little bit of mint. Very refreshing. Do you, can you bring us a, a, a spoon so we can serve ourselves off of this? Can you? No, you're fine. All right, so there's the cornbread, y'all. And then this is the peach salad. And then Sean has. I have our southern greens, hot water cornbread there to dip in. And then our Thai chili vinegar to spice it up. Perfect. All right, y'all help yourself. So, Sounds good, perfect, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'll sit in the chair, I'll chair, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I work for my own, right? I'm out of the field. 
Okay, I'm gonna try the cornbread. Y'all just help yourself, dig in. I'll, I'm gonna come around to y'all in a second. So Tiffany is at her other restaurant? No, she's here. Oh, okay. Yeah, she just came out. Okay, so this is the cornbread with the smoked butter. I'm stealing some of this. She doesn't know this, but Hip Hop Soul will see smoked butter. And this is, uh, I don't know what this is. Somebody's something or other. Somebody's, I don't know. Let's see. It's amazing. Cornbread. Oh. I haven't had it yet. Oh, you haven't had it. Okay. It has like a salt and a smoky salt thing going on. So you get the sweet, you get the salt. What's going on? What are you, what are you, what's, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What you got? So the sweetness of the peaches yeah. matches perfectly with this goat cheese. Is this goat cheese? Uh -huh. Goat cheese. It's like a burst. A burst. And then, what is it, prosciutto? Prosciutto. prosciutto. Then you get a meaty savory mixed with the sweet. A meaty savory mixed with the sweet. Okay. Yeah. What do you have? What's going on over here? The greens and this, this fried, whatever. Amazing. So you don't even know what you're eating. Did you put the uh, Thai chili vinegar on it? It's too spicy. Do you do spicy? I do spicy, but this is amazing. It's good like that? No, it's amazing. Okay. Mm. All, right, wait. All right, so on your... Oh, wait, hold on. So on a, for your salad, scale of one to five. Summertime, five. Five. Winter, maybe, you know, but no. But we in summer right now, so. Five. Five. Greens and cornbread. Five. Five out of five. Oh, these greens? Five out of five. So we five out of five it's on the five greens. Out of five. Taste from the greens. I'm on my way. <laughs> so, all right, y'all gotta try the cornbread with the greens while y'all eating the greens. You gotta get some cornbread. This is like somebody mama in the back. Okay. Man. All right, so we got, so we all five so far. Cornbreads are five. They say greens and salad are five. I'm gonna get the salad next. And I'm gonna see what I think about the salad. Peaches and prosciutto. If you Muslim, you can't eat this. <laughs> Just ask Allah for a day pass. <laughs> Salaikum salam, okay? Asalaamu bacon. <laughs> right, right, Asalaamu bacon, right, 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 right. All right, let me get a little piece of this goat cheese situation. You, got it. you, can't, you can't eat it without the goat cheese. You can't eat it without the goat cheese. All right, I got goat cheese. I have prosciutto. Ooh. Yeah, that's great. And it's got the smoky. It's smoky, but it's also salty. The salt is good. The sweet and the salty together is amazing. You try some of these Yeah, try that. It works. Yeah, it is. All right, so clearly uh, Mr. Lane likes that a lot, okay? <laughs> clearly he finds that to be completely outstanding and rightfully so, all right? Great. Okay, I can confirm though on the peaches and the, the prosciutto with the goat cheese, and you know, one thing I say about goat cheese is goat cheese is normally way too strong, but it works with this. It's the juicy peach, the sweetness of the peach, there's mint on here. There's a vinaigrette too. There's a... Thank you. There's a sweetness happening that makes it absolutely outstanding. So everybody's saying, on the peach salad, five out of five, and I will agree. And he likes food. Yeah, I like food. So when I got this invite, I said, oh, I saved all my time. I've been eating celery since last night. <laughs> It's perfect. <laughs> Baby. I mean, listen. <laughs> I was wondering what you were gonna say about the greens. You know what I mean? Let me tell you about the hot water cornbread. What I can appreciate is sweet. You know how you get a hot water cornbread? And it be it don't be sweet? 
That's beautiful, delicious, sweet hot water cornbread. And I think it's absolutely perfect. So, so far we're hitting five out of fives, all right? Uh, codfish fritters, it comes with something. I forgot what the menu said. Something, this, this little salad on top is supposed to be important, but I honestly forgot what it was. I forgot what they said it was. What's the deal? What's on top of here? What am I? It's got some mangoes and cabbage, and then underneath is going to be a mango habanero sauce. Mango habanero. Yeah, so it's going to be a little bit of habanero inside the fritters themselves, too. So it's got a little spicy. Yeah. With that mango kind of balances it right back up. All right. Mango habanero. Got it. Get a mango habanero. Texas sour, so it's, a, so it's sort of like a New York sour, but with pork wine on top. Any preference on the bourbon? Uh, no, whatever. Excuse me. What, uh, you have a drink recommendation? Whatever you, whatever you recommend, I'll take it. I mean, are you more seeing old fashioned like spirit board guys? Yeah, that's what I used to make. Mango, I Oh. Yeah, I won second place in the cookie competition. Did you? Yeah. That was a long time ago. Try that. Yeah, you can take it. What do you think? What is this? It's a codfish fritter. Very popular in Puerto Rican cooking called bacalaito. What are your thoughts? Because you ain't you ain't stopped chewing. <laughs> I like it, but it doesn't have the consistency of a cow. No, it doesn't. It doesn't no, it's not supposed to. Okay. What do you think? Let me. Oh, let's get Aaron. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna ask you. I, on the right. Four out of five. What do you think? Three point seven. Three point seven. <laughs> <laughs> Just because the consistency is. Well, you've got to understand what a bacala bacalao is, okay. or a bacalaito. If you're not familiar, then you don't have a point of reference. Yeah, I don't have yeah. So you don't have a point of reference. I'm looking at it, I don't like. Oh, okay. It's yeah, no, it's gross. delicious. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's so it's beautiful. Yeah, she got habanero. She says she put in there. This is gumbo. I don't know what that gumbo sauce hit today. Yeah, yeah, it's it's good today. What it's kind nice. of sauce? Yeah. Did not undo it. She was ready for your ass. She was ready for your ass. <laughs> she was ready for your ass. <laughs> yes, she was. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you, hey, when I tasted it, I was like, what this nigga gonna say? Oh, no, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing to say. Yeah, I was wondering. You know, I was like, that shit is good. I'm a gumbo snob. That shit is good. And you ain't even order that. He said, no, I'm about to hit him. Nah, this, like better than, this, this better than New Orleans gumbo right here, baby. This is a five out of five. Uh, okay, y'all going to have to decide what you want to take so they can pack it up. Okay. Because I can't take anything home. I'm not going to eat it. It's going to go to waste. We split it in half. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we'll tell them. Maybe we'll tell them that. Maybe we'll tell them. All right, let's get Aaron's reaction on the uh, the salad. So wait, I gotta do the. You gotta do the peaches, the prosciutto, and the goat cheese, and the pecans if you like pecans. Peaches ain't green. He's green. He's green. He's green. He's green. He's green. They are. So wait, what dressing? Do I put a dressing on? Nah, you just eat like this already on there. Oh shit, I have the pork. That's the only thing. Isn't it? Oh. All right, here we go. But do it all, do it all in one bite, yeah. Five out of five. Five out of five. This is crazy. Five out of five. This is crazy. Five out of five. Great. All right, so there we go. Your bowl, you empty, I know. All right, so the uh, we can confirm all the apps. 
The majority of the apps are five out of five. The gumbos are five out of five. Cornbreads are five out of five. Greens are five out of five. We have high marks on the fritters, and I think we all think the peaches are like five out of five. Yeah, so we don't have any issue no. whatsoever. Now my my uh, pear drink is right here. What's that? A pear something, perfect pear. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ain't none here bad. <laughs> Girl, they have over there cooking. Them people right there, she got them people trained right. Everything come out of this kitchen, five out of five. Everything come up out of here is delicious. You gotta get down here. Okay, all right. I'm gonna have them clear the table. Divide this stuff up. I'm glad I microdose. If I didn't, if I wouldn't microdose, I wouldn't be able to eat nothing. Okay, we're gonna have them clean stuff up. We're gonna divide and conquer all of this. And when the entrees come, bam, bam, bam. when the entrees come, I'll come back. All right. Now with some, mm. <laughs> you know that sauce? Yeah, she said mango habanero. It goes well with it. That sauce. Oh yeah. I needed yeah. to dip my Yeah, maybe that's what you had to do. Yeah, the food's good here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We ain't had shit bad. The texture too. If you don't know fritters, you know what I mean? Like you thinking, you know. Hush puppy. Yeah, hush puppy, yeah. 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 That's, that's fritters. And my favorite place to get codfish fritters is a place called Ropa Vieja in San Juan, Puerto Rico. <laughs> So when you, when you already broke ground, when you plan in the open, oh, Actually, when I plan to leave. December? December 30th. Okay. I got a one-way ticket. Ooh, one way. So you're not gonna do one month, one month, one month, one month. Have you ever been to Bali before? No. But I'm going yeah, when you open. That's all I'm saying. Right, yeah. If you let me know a month and a half, I'm going when you open. I think they got this drink coming for me. What's your good? I told them whatever is popular. I saw that they were making it. And then, so what was it? What was it? It was like, you just decided to go to Bali? Oh, that's yours. Oh, no, that's yours. So what is this? That is an urban smoke. Urban smoke. The Wisconsin of it looks a little. So what is that? It's more take on a black man hat. Okay. So a black man hat, huh? Taste it and see if you like it, Mr. Black Man Hat. Smell that. Smell that. It's good. There you go. <laughs> Oh, what you got? What you got? I got a, a Texas sour. Texas sour. Texas take on a New York sour. Texas take on a New York sour. Mm -hmm. With a scallion pancake to dip in that. Okay, what we got? Hold on, I'm sitting up here. I don't know what this is. Hold on one second. Okay, what what's what's this? I'll let you know. Come on. So that is our lovely pork cheeks. Pork cheeks. That's right. Yeah. Put some burnt sugar in it and serve with the scallion pancakes. Okay. Put all those sauces. Perfect. Fresh veggies on top. Yes. Famous duck fat fried. Duck chicken. fat fried chicken. Made biscuits. Biscuit. Serve with the pepper jelly. Uh huh. Mm. And again, some more of that smoked butter. Uh huh. Here we have our crawfish fried rice. Uh huh. And here we have our garlic fried. butter yams. Garlic butter yams. Oh All right. Okay. All right. And then. Yes, sir. <laughs> is it the pork cheek of the butt? This guy is the actual guy here for you. And this is a striped bag. And so the braised down to smoke. It probably will remind you more of almost like a beef stew. Okay. Yeah, it's I see. Yeah. 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 The, the, the green is going to be like a salsa verde. Uh, hold your question. Why that amount? I'll get to you in a second. Let's do this while I got a little a little energy left on me. Okay. I'm not even sure where to start with any of this. I'm just gonna dig in with what's closest to me, which happens to be the um, garlic butter sweet potato. Okay, that's what's close to me. Oh, it's not a, it's like a white potato. Like a white sweet potato. It's fine. I'm going chicken. 
white sweet potato? Yeah. Sweet? Yeah. This is kind of sweet. You try it. It's good. You know, it's like the, um, when you go someplace else, like uh, Asia, and get a, a yam. It's not a, like a yellow traditional yam like we have. It's something different. So that's fine. No problem with that. Mm. No, the consistency is No, it's delicious. All right. I have a thigh. Oh, well, that's good. I know, right? You what like you it? What are talking about? This ain't no sweet potato. This is... This is a... This, this is special. Mm -hmm. It is. It's a yam. This is like... This is like... In some sort of scab. We also need some serving spoons. Yeah. That was good. That was good. Thank you. What's your rating? Five out of five. <laughs> Right. You wasn't talking about like it was a five out of five. Oh no, what you rated? Five out of five. What you rated? You okay. Know, where you was talking like you was Okay, five. so we all eating chicken now. Okay, we're gonna do this together apparently. That's no, five yams. out of five. The yams, oh my god. Those are yams. What kind of yams? Those gotta be like African yams or something. It's not, those are American yams. Those are, and they're tossed in something. I can tell. Also a habanero sauce. Let me try that. Habanero sauce. No, I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, we're trying a chicken together. Yo. Derek fucking his up. That hot sauce is good. Yeah. Eat it with your hand. You can't eat it with no fork. Also, whatever like orange seasonal fruit we have in house, we add just cut a little yeah. bit of the heat, and it's a good one. Cool, thank you. Chicken? Good. Good. Chicken? Chicken is light. It doesn't give you that like soapy, um, heavy. This heavy. Yeah. Look, this is a light fried chicken. A light batter. So flavorful. Season it all through. Scale of one to five. 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 I'm 4.5. Okay. It's flaky. It's flaky Aaron said a 4.5. Yeah. I'm saying. And it's juicy. Thank you. What's a bar? What's a bar? What a bar? I tasted. What did you have? What piece did you have? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a leg. Oh, it's a bar. You know why? Ain't nothing wrong with this. You don't need no salt. You can eat this and be perfectly you know, fine. This is, is slightly fried. What's this? You like, you like. It eats like that too. It stays crispy when you can eat it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. The second meal is just as good, I promise. Okay. And it's marinated. And Caesar. Oh, yeah. No, right. this is definitely it's marinated. You see it first. And then it's flash fried, so it stays crispy. It doesn't fall off. That's what it does. And it's fully cooked before it ever gets breaded. It's mm. packed with all that flavor. Okay, I'm going to try to, um, oh, I'm so high. <laughs> it's over here floating. I'm going to try the, uh, the crawfish fried rice. Mm. That's, that, you like that, huh? I do like that. I mean, this is perfectly seasoned. I can't lie. It's like perfect. Yeah. It's like, the, the see everything perfect. It's the crawfish fried rice? I mean... I don't think we get nothing bad here. It's impossible. When you come, you gotta eat things. Yeah, people people said it in my comments. They love the um the garlic butter yams. I'm gonna try the fish. All right. FYI, I've never had beef cheeks before. I mean, pork cheeks. Yeah, me neither. First time, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I haven't tasted it yet, but I tasted it au jus with the carrot. Something that's spicy, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Crawfish? Yeah. I caught a, a wind of something. Okay, this is the something. The fish. Oh, my God. How we doing? We're we good. Man. What you get to this shit? What you get to this shit? 
What'd you get to that shit there, boy? What'd you get to that shit right there? This shit is crazy. No, 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 no. Wait till you get to... Uh, get to him? My God, Jesus Christ. No, you can... You can bother this up. I don't, we ain't had nothing bad yet, huh? Nah, that one thing. No, I like that spice. The water. <laughs> I ain't like the you, water. It is a spice, spice right? Yeah. You hit it, it's spice like... On the back end? I told you, that's a little spice. That's perfect. All right, I'm about to try Hit that, fish. hit that. Hold on, let me get Aaron on this fish. Let's see what you're talking about. Wait, what is it? What kind of fish? I forgot. Do you drink this? I forgot. That's crazy. That's amazing. Scale it one to five. Shit, 17. Yeah, 17. yeah. Yeah. See, I'm, what a, you doing? I'm a fish expert. <laughs> okay, okay, Mr. Uh, fish expert. You about, to, you about to get punched in the face. Yeah, he about to. My God. <laughs> My God. That's crazy. He said, hold on. He said, hold on. Had a fish orgasm. <laughs> it's so light, so light, so airy, there perfectly with that corn, sucking tag, sort of betting on it. Man, well, you know what we got over here, baby? A winner, winner. Chicken. Let's try to try the pork cheek. The pork cheek dish is beautiful, though. It, this is gorgeous with these turnips and these pickled onions. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful dish. I saw lamb on the menu. Oh, yeah, but you know, but you know, I don't like I don't like lamb. You don't do lamb? I hate lamb. What? Hate it. Last time we was here, we had lamb. They were amazing. Yeah, the lamb chops are always easy. Those body pops. She got a little piece of fry bread. She said, dip the fry bread in the juice. This gives you like spicy but citrusy at the same time. This is all he. And I don't know how she does it, but this is a citrus, spice, flavorful, light fish. Oh yeah, I, I ordered that every time. I see why you won, because she fried your fish. <laughs> Don't start crying. Don't start crying. <laughs> you have a favorite so far? This fish is probably the most oh my God. balanced that I've ever seen. This is great. I haven't had a pork cheek yet. No, no, no. He's going to have it. He's going to. They're having it next. Yeah, I see that reaction. They're having the pork cheek next. Fish with pork cheek. So what do you do with the pork cheek? Eat it. Dip the bread in there. Oh, you put you the like bread. Soup. Yeah. Like soup. Yeah. Dip the bread in the. You dip the bread in the juice. I don't know about no pork cheeks. I know, right? I ain't signed up for all this. That's all right. <laughs> now, 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 now. Now that sauce. Now. You can't put it. don't matter. You I not listening? I want sauce? a real dip. That sauce? On this? Right. Now put that whole pork cheek in your mouth. Oh, I'm so tender. Put the, put the whole pork chicken in your mouth. I'm, that's just so tender. But I'm trying to tell you the whole thing together. Put the whole thing in your mouth. Right. Right. Uh, what the fuck is she doing? Babe, a magic. Okay. Magic. I got it. You got, got it. it. You got it. <laughs> Imagine. Uh huh. If you had your grandmama make oxtail. Uh huh. And she was. Two of them for about a good eight hours. Uh huh. And it was falling off the bone. Yeah. Uh -huh. But this sauce, the sauce, is way better than your regular. Yeah. Yeah, that sauce is outstanding. This is like butter. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yo. Well, I mean, it's very clear what's good here. It's very clear we have winners all over the place here. Okay. Mm. And it's keto because of the radishes. And the radishes are great in there. The radishes are great in there. Did I just eat a radish? Yeah. I didn't even think that was radish. The radishes are great in here. I like radishes. They're great in here. I like that. I like that. Mm. Right. Now this, this <laughs> So what was your favorite? There wasn't a word. What was what was the what was the number one? Number one. You, you can't, can't you can't I can't I don't have one. You go up there? It's impossible. Or it's it's a, uh, it's impossible, but like that. Because, but the chicken with that hot, it's, everything's so different. The chicken with that hot sauce is one. With that cornbread. The chicken with the hot sauce is yeah, great with the with the hot water cornbread. Mm -hmm. See, that's one flavor profile. Yeah. The chicken with the hot sauce is another flavor profile, right? So it's like you have so many flavor profiles hitting you from different directions. How do you choose this? This has more like a almost an Asian-y, deep rooted flavor that don't bat, that don't even go with this. It's like, so how can you choose one thing when everything's so different? Yeah. This is like pure Americana. You know, it's like you can't. There's no way to choose. There's no way to choose. The yams, we didn't even get to the biscuits. Oh, yeah, I don't have no room. <laughs> we didn't even get to the biscuits. I'm still eating this. What's your favorite? What's your favorite? Yeah. Greens with and smoky butter. On the cornbread. <laughs> That's a sleeper. Yeah. Because it's like, that's perfect. It is. It is. You know what? It is the perfect fried rice. It's like. It's the per. And it, it would go with any chicken, anything, fish, anything, beef. Right. It would go with anything. Right. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. I mean, how can you choose? You can't. And this is what I mean. I'm talking about creativity. Where are you finding this anyplace else? Yeah. Nowhere. Yeah. Execution. Cleanliness, service, all of it. That's how we are. I don't want to go to meet a meat and a, a two side. You send me that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you send me some shit, the jerk hut or something. I don't want to go no bullshit, no jerk hut. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, and I told him what's on the menu: oxtails, rice and peas, jerk chicken, curry chicken, curry goat stew chicken. It's the same shit. Everywhere you go, I don't want to eat the same thing. I want something different. Baby. I'm coming back here tomorrow. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, I'm going to get a check. I'll come back and tell you what's what in a minute. All right? I'll be back. So, what's, it's, what's the name is there now? What's the symbol? Right? Yeah, that's the like, everybody, everybody keep that. You see him? Yeah, at the grocery store. I saw him at Starbucks. Yeah, of course. Fuck, no, I don't see the man. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's going to be my first trip to Bali. I think my wife's been. I hate you. <laughs> we about to take you outside and beat your ass. <laughs> you just this. What's the you? Why? Why radish it? Um, I don't know. I'm like it's perfectly keto. I don't know. I don't know the sugar. I don't know any sugar content, but perfectly keto. It's amazing. But it, it's it's the I don't know what you yeah that 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 perfectly air. But this is like a, a beef oxtail sort of. What's up? It's like warm, cold, but all the spices and nutmeg. Something's in there. That's the cheek. It cooks down. I caramelize them with all spice. Yeah, just say that. Yeah. Let it cook. Okay. I with the large amount of it, I down. It's so good. It's good. Oh, and the spice and the fried rice. Yeah. A little sneaky yeah. spice. Yeah, it's a proper It's so good. Yeah. It's so good. It's so good. Of course, the, the yam. 
the chicken with the hot sauce, the whole thing here, the whole, the whole thing. On the fish is like super light, and it's, I was saying, it's a perfect blend of citrus and spice that just combines to this explosion of flavor. I'll have y'all here any day. Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, no, you, everything. The it drinks, was everything. I was full, and I'm like, I do not want no fish. I'm tired of you. I said, I said, yeah, yeah. Everything's, everything's amazing. Yeah. 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 I said, I'm not going to let them leave out here without the bumps. Oh, oh yeah, you I'm, said, look, I'm, you know, I can't even, you see, I'm taking mine to go. I can't even finish it. You see this right here. I still have my No, I thought about I'm like, man, I should get a cup of gumbo. Yeah, no, this, what sauce is this that in there? So it's it's Zumo. not on dude. It's Zumo. It's from my hometown in Vermont. And I am Zumo. very loyal to that. That's it Zumo sauce. Zumo sauce. I never even yeah, heard of it. It's, it's out of Beaumont, Texas. It's okay. like the way I grew up. It's like my childhood. That's, mm. I, if we ate like a grilled sauce, we would have a cake. We would white sauce. bread. It was with Zumo. Okay. So I ship it here. Mm. Okay. Everything was good. Thank you. And when is, um, I missed him last time, but when is Kevin Bluff's on? Not sure. Oh, you know what? He is coming up. I didn't, I, I'm getting ready to make an announcement. Um, I'm doing a Food and Wine Festival in November. And Bledsoe is going to come and do some barbecue for me. At, it's called Chef. Uh, this is another one of my brands. I said you Chef. And he's coming um, in that time. But I'll send you all the info too. But yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be fun. It's a three-day festival. It's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. Count me in. Yeah. Where is it going to be here? Yep. Count me in. Yep. Suburbs, it's fine. Yeah. Listen, girl, you you killing it. Yeah, you are fucking killing it. Yeah, these these I don't even know. You're ki like, like you're literally killing yeah. it. Yeah. You're killing everything. Thanks, y'all. We we kept every week trying to figure out like what's your favorite, and we're like everything's so different. You can't. You don't have a favorite. Yeah. Because like even because even the chicken paired with the hot sauce. It's like an entire vibe by itself. Yeah. And the crisp on it, you know what I'm saying? So it's like... Thank you. That's a house-made hot sauce. Yeah. That, I love Louisiana and crisp. Yeah. Those are the only two I've mentioned. So that is my style of Louisiana because it's more vinegar-based. So like that, that was no, my no, no. I could tell. I was like... That's my inspiration. I can tell that's house-made. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you, you hands are blessed. Hands are blessed. Hands are blessed. Thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm gonna head home so that I can pack. But tomorrow, right? We are getting out of here. We're gonna we are we're on our way. How's the other restaurant doing? Very good. Very good. I'm going tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah, um, you put it under your name? Okay. No, y'all be trying to get rid of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too um, open I table want, on my name. My, my chef to meet you. She's amazing. Um, she's a sister, and so yeah, it's like, on, it's under my name. Italian restaurant stuff you don't see. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's good. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I got the camera. I beat it. I got my reservation set. <laughs> Y'all enjoy. Thank you so much for You're being welcome. Here. Thank you for having me. I'll see you next time I come. Okay. We'll be back. All right. Oh, uh, so good, right? I don't know what y'all caught um, because the microphone was off or something. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't off. You just got that audio, not this audio. I'll, I won't know till I play it back. So. I'm gonna have another little piece of chicken. Mm -hmm. Look, look, look at what I'm doing. Uh huh. I made a little room. Give me a little hot sauce. Mm. Okay, when the check come, I'll come back. All right, I got the bill in front of me. $348.10. All right. That's good. That Kool Aid was 15. The smoked Uncle Nearest was 18.50. The cornbread was 10. The cod fritters were 10. The greens were 11. The Texas peaches salad was 15. The fried chicken was 56. The pork cheeks were 35. The yams were seven. The crawfish fried rice was 12. The striped bass 32. Purple rain 17. Perfect pear 16. Urban smoke 20. Um, create your own with float whatever that is is 19. And a mango peach cobbler was 13. All right, so total is gonna be 348.10 plus a tip of 69.62. You can do the math on that, all right? I'm gonna go outside and give you my final thoughts. All right, 
This is their dessert. So this is the oh. mango peach. We might as well all dig in. Uh huh. You said peach cobbler. cobbler. Okay. Yeah, sir. It's a bourbon peach cobbler. Mango bourbon, something or other. Let's see. Shit. <laughs> right, right. Can't get this. Another five out of five. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. What is that? Right Sorry, my detox tomorrow. Mm. No, I'm good. I didn't eat that much. They, they ate something. All right, y'all. Let me go outside and give you my final thoughts. Um, all right, y'all. That was it. So, a fantastic time at Rue Southern Table. I mean, if I could be honest, he gets nothing less than a five out of five out of five out of five on every every level, everything. Here he go. Five. Every everything, everything was a five out of five. We thoroughly, we thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, there's not one thing that was wrong. There's not one thing that was bad. Everything was good. All right. I mean, even stuff that we didn't think was a five. So overall, there were some things that overcompensated. So it's gonna get a five. So if you're, if you're ever out here in the Dallas area. You gotta come out to Root Southern Table. Man, get you a reservation and come down here. It is outstanding.